गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन सो आई ज्वाइन अ लिटल अर्ली टूडे एंड जस्ट यू नो सो दैट आई कुड टॉक अ लिटल बिट to all of you about how is your preparation going so how is it going everyone any last minute jitters you are having are you having any last minute jitters beta yes we can talk about anything you want to for the coming next one or two minutes any doubts that you are facing or anything that you uh, are facing a problem any situation you are in and you want to talk it out you can because sometimes the solutions you have see all, all of us have solutions within ourselves right but still we just need to you know blurt it out and so that you know we can solve if you are not able to revise if you are not able to uh, you know get back on track वैसे तो now you should be good evening everyone good evening let me open up the live chat very good let everyone join in I open the session two minutes before so that at least you know we can have a little chit chat about anything how are you beta are you in best of moods are you in like happy mode are you in stress mode sad mode so what is the mode right now happy mode hona chahiye because i have come ha na so happy mode hi hona chahiye but still beta i know lot of anxiety will be there hogi so face that anxiety you know anybody who's able to face the anxiety you know head on collision and you know say ke i don't care whether anxiety or any kind of you know fomo exists i don't care i have done my preparation and provided provided you have done your preparation fine bete okay yes beta uh, see you have to push up your dentist you have to really now push up your revision schedule and how you have to revise is not from a to z है ना इफ यू हैव योर नोट्स नॉट ए टू जेड लाइक आई एम डूइंग इन माय रिवीजन सीरीज क्विकली क्विकली रिवाइज करना है है ना व्हाट यू नो यू नो यू डोंट नीड टू यू नो मग इट अप मूड स्विंग्स तो आई नो आई नो आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड राइट सो बिकॉज फ्यू डेज आर लेफ्ट आई कैन टेल यू टू बी अ सेंट कि भाई नो नो बिकम अ सेंटली पर्सन एंड डोंट यू नो यू नथिंग शुड बॉदर यू बिकॉज एवरीथिंग इज गोइंग टू बॉदर यू इन द कमिंग डेज ठीक है टिल इट सेवेंटींथ ऑफ मार्च एवरीथिंग इज गोइंग टू कम इन टू योर माइंड बट इफ यू कीप ऑन ट्रैक इफ यू कीप ऑन स्टडिंग देन बेटा यू विल गेट वॉट यू हैव बीन प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एग्जॉस्टेड अभी तो एग्जॉशन बेटा इट हैज नॉट इवन स्टार्टेड नॉट इवन स्टार्टेड बेटे exhaustion will start once you get into a government mds seat ha na so yes i know you must be bored of studying ke bhai study 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 it's like getting to my head but it is not exhaustion suppose you take prostho in some gdc then beta that you know you will know what is exhaustion that time you will actually know ke bhai thakna kya hota hai right abhi to enjoy karo abhi to it is a phase where you just have to sit and study sit and study theek hai chalo let us start now yes can we start now any other problem sleepy dr yastika again same thing for sleepiness just remember my i had a uh, physics teacher i went to him for few days ha na but but you know his one line you know still haunts me every single day when i am feeling sleepy you know he used to say ke you know you have to study that is the like hard fact you have to study now you feel sleepy do anything you have to do you know put water in your eyes you know always like dr amit does he always you know wears shoes 
so that you know he is always sitting even on bed if he is there he his you no know, legs are outside the bed always because he is wearing shoes so you know he is always on a work mode likewise if i have to do anything you know i'll just put lot of water in my eyes and then you know keep on saying i have to i have to i have to do it and then you know i get up that's okay you know fight it find ways by now find ways every single day to study 10 to 14 hours a day whatever your time period is find ways to complete it do not do not slow down see beta in this race the tortoise wins right rabbit also wins sometimes one has to be a very super intelligent rabbit but tortoise wins so you have to keep on walking till the end day if you sleep now see beta rabbit is the most deserving we all know rabbit and the tortoise story rabbit is the most deserving he could have finished a race in just one minute but then he slept now you do not sleep like i always tell uh, you know all my students water boils at 100 degree if you like switch off you know your gas at 99.8 99.9 water is not going to boil and you all have studied till 99.8 right just 0.2 degree more just 0.2 fine नो डॉक्टर लोकेश याद करो पानी उबल रहा है पानी उबल रहा है सौ पे अब भी उबलने वाला था गैस बंद कर दी आपने सो यू विल नॉट गेट बॉइलिंग वाटर व्हाट यू विल गेट इज अ हॉट वाटर व्हिच डजंट यू नो डू एनी गुड टू यू यू नीड दैट बॉइलिंग यू नो एनर्जी टू क्रैक दिस एग्जाम डू नॉट गिव अप नाउ डू नॉट बिकम अ रैबिट प्लीज एवरी वन चलो Yes, Doctor Shivani, it is with ourselves. I know we are in a mad race. Only oh, three idiots ka dialogue. What is the dialogue? We are in a race. We are like some eggs, you know. And if you will not work hard, you know this will happen, that will happen. Same thing. But yes, we are with in race with ourselves. Fine. But at the same time, this is a race wala exam. So you have to be better than. many people to get rank 1 2 3 4 5 or 100 or whatever rank you want you have to be better fine chal i will dr nidhi what not to do sabse pehle to jo bacche revision kar rahe ho from a to z stop it stop it you know it you know it bete you know what is there in your notes ठीक है सपोज लेट मी टॉक अबाउट माय सब्जेक्ट यू नो फिजियो मेडिसिन में हीमोस्टासिस यू नो एवरीथिंग व्हाई विल यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम स्टॉपेज ऑफ ब्लीडिंग प्लस मेंटेनेंस ऑफ फ्लूडिटी नो यू विल नॉट डू लाइक दिस वाइल रिवाइजिंग हाउ यू विल डू अच्छा हीमोस्टासिस ओके आई नो फर्स्ट चेंज क्या है सेकेंड चेंज क्या है थर्ड चेंज क्या है क्या हो रहा है खत्म लाइक दिस ओके सो ओपन अप द पेज ऑफ योर नोट्स एंड क्विकली जस्ट यू नो अपने माइंड में एक्टिव रिकॉल करो वॉट इज यू नो ऑन दैट पेज डू नॉट गिव इट अ रीड इट विल नॉट हेल्प यू इट विल वेस्ट योर टाइम फिनिश सब्जेक्ट इन लाइक फोर आवर्स थ्री आवर्स नॉट इन अ डेट्स टाइम कि डे लेंगे हम हमने तो पल्स हो गया या कोई और बुक हो गई एवरी क्वेश्चन आई हैव टू सॉल्व नो नो सो इफ यू डोंट डू दिस मिस्टेक इन द लास्ट मंथ्स If you start doing your again revising your PYQs, nothing, nobody, you know, you'll become unstoppable, right? So today line is I am unstoppable. I am not going to become a rabbit, and I can do it. Okay? Do not become a rabbit. Okay, beta. Let us start. He most asses. Okay. So now, ma'am, how will you start? See, look how I am revising. Same way, revise prostho, pedo, every single thing. Fine, beta. Any subject, biochemistry, dental materials, revise as I am doing it with you. Fine. Okay, let us start. Now, hemostasis. You all know what it is. You know, injury occurs. You have to stop the bleeding. Now, injury to the blood vessels. The first thing which happens is vasoconstriction. But that is not that efficient to stop if it is a big cut. what is the first thing which comes in your question is formation of a temporary platelet plug first even to happen right where so constriction if in the option you know what to mark now how the temporary plug is formed that is the function of platelet 
fine so platelet will activate they will adhere to the blood vessel which has been injured then many platelets will come platelet aggregation will occur right so for platelet adhesion remember von willebrand factor very important right so what does von willebrand factor do it adheres to suppose this is the collagen these are the platelets so it adheres the platelets to the injured blood vessel fine the platelets afterwards will aggregate also this that will happen thrombocene to adp collagen fibrinogen fine so this is how a loose platelet plug is formed so please remember the function of platelet is assessed by bt bleeding time whenever bleeding time is increased you have to understand that it is definitely a platelet disorder if clotting time pt pt aptt they are increased then definitely it is a clotting factor disorder right but one willebrand factor is one 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 willebrand disease is one where you will have bleeding time also problem and you know the other factor is also a problem fine so let us see aptt will also be altered a little bit so that is just one situation where you have to think about one willebrand disease otherwise if in a question ramu has every parameter fine aptt pt everything is fine but bt is increased that means disease of platelets clear okay now platelets they are smallest colorless non nucleated granulated blood cells granules one pyq always comes dense and alpha in the alpha everything f wala comes fine one willebrand factor pdgf platelet factor 4 factor 13 which is again a question fibrin stabilizing factor lucky lorand factor and fibronectin theek hai thrombospondin is also present which is causing stabilization of clot fine so anything which is f especially they ask on von willebrand factor they may ask on factor 13 and they may ask on platelet factor 4 fine so they may ask you where it is present dense granules or alpha everything else is dense they give you adp atp nahi hai na f nahi hai to alpha form mein nahi hai fine or they give you serotonin 5 hydroxy tryptamine so it doesn't have f so it is not an alpha fine done this is how you revise next this particular diagram is very important you must know it ke bhai platelet ko injured blood vessel se connect kon karta hai von willebrand factor what is the receptor group 1p1x whereas the fibrinogen connects the two platelets via group 2b3a receptor right and group 1a receptor is directly for the collagen so this you have to have to remember especially the von willebrand factor receptor theek hai next so beta wo how the adhesion is occurring von willebrand factor group 1b 1x receptor aggregation fibrinogen group 2b 3a fine half life and life span is important half life of the platelets as i told you is 4 days life span is 10 days they usually ask the life span or half life or you know of the rbcs platelets maybe they'll ask you about the neutrophils and that is why because neutrophils have early you know 6 hour one day life span that is why you know the myeloid erythroid ratio is 3 to 1 fine so this question has also come what is the myeloid erythroid ratio and why it is so because wbcs have little life span so we need more progenitors for the wbcs fine number of platelets you know 1.5 or 2.5 to 4 lakhs per deciliter thrombocytopenia uh, is when it is less than 1 lakh and spontaneous bleeding beta sometimes in questions they give you 20000 best answer is 10000 fine if they give you a choice get 10 or 20 or 15 so see beta you have to see now they won't do that they won't do that right they will always give you 10000 or 15000 or 20000 fine so please remember that platelets are fro formed from megakaryocytes under 
जैसे इरिथिरोपोइटिन होता है वैसे ही थ्रोम्बोपोइटिन होता है नाउ नेक्स्ट वी नो सिक्सटी टू सेवेंटी परसेंट आर इन सर्क्यूलेशन रेस्ट ऑल आर इन स्प्लीन सो वेन आई डिस्ट्रॉय द स्प्लीन स्प्लीन एक्टॉमी देन वॉट हैपन्स द प्लेटलेट इन द ब्लड विल इंक्रीज राइट सो इन अ पर्सन हु हैज अंडर गॉन स्प्लीन एक्टमी द नंबर ऑफ प्लेटलेट्स इज गोइंग टू बी इज द क्या डॉक्टर आयुष जस्ट गिव मी प्लीज एक्सप्लेन व्हाट इज दिस सी बेटा प्लेटलेट एक्टिवेशन प्लेटलेट एडिशन दे विल ऑल अकरिंग टुगेदर राइट इट इज नॉट लाइक दे आर गोइंग टू वेट फॉर इट ऑब्वियसली वेन एवर यू नो देर इज इंजरी एडिशन अकर्स एट द सेम टाइम द प्लेटलेट्स चेंज देयर शेप दे बिकम फ्लेम शेप राइट सो इट इज अ स्पॉन्टेनियस प्रोसेस इट इज जस्ट फॉर द लाइन वी गिव इट right it is not like in the wbc you know the margination and all that technique wise it happens it is not so in platelets in the platelets as they are adhering they are changing into the activated forms because they have to form thrombosane a2 fine so the order doesn't matter here fine okay right like i said they become flame shaped when they are active fine pdgfc beta pathomena ek aur प्रॉब्लम आएगी जब हम वॉन विली ब्रांड डिजीज करेंगे वॉन विली ब्रांड डिजीज में दे द पैथो बुक्स विल राइट दैट ए पी टी टी इज नॉर्मल बट द मेडिसिन बुक्स राइट कि इट इज इंक्रीज स्लाइटली और मे बी नॉर्मल राइट सो दीज आर द टू यू नो डिस्क्रिपेंसी इन पैथो एंड माइक्रो विच यू माइट फाइन बट दैट्स ओके बिकॉज एवरी थिंग इज हैपनिंग एट द सेम टाइम फाइन नाउ पी डी जी एफ that is the platelet derived growth factor it stimulates wound healing this is ini question so let us skip it for neat next one willy brand factor very important right fine one willy brand factor alpha any other doubt bete no okay let us continue then वन मिली ब्रांड फैक्टर पे क्वेश्चन आता है एल्फा ग्रैन्यूल्स में होते हैं दे आर प्रेजेंट इन द सब एंडोथीलियम वेन दे आर एंडोथीलियल सेल्स में प्रेजेंट वीबल पैलेट बॉडीज राइट सो दे जस्ट गिव यू टर्म वीबल पैलेट बॉडीज हैज वॉट फाइन दे मे बी इवन प्रेजेंट इन प्लाज्मा वॉट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ प्लेटलेट्स थ्री फंक्शन आर देर आई टोल्ड यू प्लेट लेट अडेशन नेक्स्ट इज फैक्टर एट सी से ज्वाइनिंग होती है वॉन विली ब्रांड फैक्टर की राइट वाई बिकॉज एट नीड्स टू बी प्रोटेक्टेड वन विली ब्रांड फैक्टर इज लाइक अ गार्ड टू द एट फैक्टर ठीक है बिकॉज इट प्रिवेंट्स द डिसोल्यूशन ऑफ एट फैक्टर सो जस्ट रिमेंबर एट सी वन विली ब्रांड फैक्टर सो वाई द क्लॉटिंग अकर्स देन यू नो दिस बॉन्ड इज ब्रोकन डाउन बाय वॉट दिस बॉन्ड गेट्स ब्रोकन डाउन बाय द थ्रोम्बिन fine next restosterone uh, restosterone cofactor you know when we add restosterone then the induced platelet aggregation is the function of von willebrand factor fine so <clears throat> whenever the von willebrand factor is affected the bleeding time is altered i told you why because platelets now cannot adhere so bleeding time don't definitely now one more thing i want to highlight over here whenever the platelet deformity is there we are going to have you know superficial bleeds like ecchymosis epistaxis petechiae hemorrhage mucosal bleeds like gingival bleeding or a little bit of menorrhagia fine so these are the kinds of bleedings which you are going to see but when the clotting factors are involved then deep bleeds will occur right knee may bleed muscle may bleed joint may bleed so deep bleeding this is one indication for you to decide see first indication will be the bleeding time only right bleeding time bad raha hai clotting factor pe jana hi nahi hai you don't have to go towards clotting factor you have to think about any platelet disorder that is there fine okay right <clears throat> okay This bond beta is pay question aate hain. Ek to you have to remember C. Next you have to remember it is a non-covalent bond and it is broken down by thrombin. Three questions on this bond. 
fine there is something known as adam ts13 it's a protease and it breaks the von willebrand factor multimers it get absent in one disease which is what can anyone tell me which is what adam ts13 gets deficient or mutated and the multimers are remain in the blood vessels multimers of what one willebrand factor they remain in the blood vessel and they cause a lot of havoc so what is that the terrible pentard okay which we will do okay then i think arachidonic acid pathway you have to revise so please do it once right drugs i will do it now functions of blood platelets may you remember everything clot formation bleeding but one thing which you remember what causes clot retraction right that is thrombosthenin fine thrombopoietin you remember it is the protein which forms thrombosthenin clot retraction sometimes they miss thrombosthenin they give you actin myosin so please mark that if that is not in the option and once thrombospondin which was for the uh, which we did in the alpha granules fine now disorders of platelets fine first is the disorder of adhesion von willebrand factor adhesion if von willebrand factor is a problem it leads to von willebrand disease simple but if the receptor is deficient here beta write down one line von willebrand factor is normal but the seat on which it sits the attachment site problem so we have bernard solier syndrome fine disorder of aggregation please remember that is either fibrinogen a fibrinogenemia hypofibrinogenemia and group 2b 3a receptor problem so remember it is the glansman syndrome fine everyone how to remember it if you ever forget group 1 1 b to dono mein hai group 1 b 2b but group 1 b is the second alphabet right but here it is a problem of group 1 okay b 1 x that is different just remember it like this and group 2 b is due to glans 1 2 is the you know b is the second alphabet but that doesn't make it group 2 b fine i think you all know it okay next is disorder of platelet secretion and signal transduction right biscott aldrich syndrome and shadiac higashi syndrome please revise shadiac higashi from your uh, pathology please do it path oral path also and pathology also lot of question come okay when we are doing the journal path then i will revise even this syndrome shadiac higashi syndrome fine okay this is scott syndrome i don't think it has never come it is never going to come okay so what are the tests that we do first is the bleeding time however the more specific test is the clot retraction test or the capillary fragility test is also for the platelets and torniquet test what is torniquet test capillary fragility test fine so this question had come more specific kya hai bete bleeding time definitely it increases but agar if they ask you specific and clot retraction test which had this has been a question in neat 2022 so if suppose this is the question clot retraction has to be marked fine next this i have explained to you okay now bernard solier we all know it is a defect of group 1b 1x so that von willebrand factor cannot adhere but von willebrand factor is normal over here it is not able to adhere right then they might give you i don't think so this question will come in neat because neat is supposed to be an easier exam theek hai sabse pehle to ye baat bar bar yaad rakho and whenever you get anxiety just say to yourself neat is going to be a easy exam if you know your subjects matlab easy question aata hai if you know the easy questions of every subject i am talking about not just one you will sail through have faith beta theek hai not on me not on uh, chalo yourself to obviously you have to have faith but have faith on the examiners they are not going to torture you 
right because they need to fill up all the mds seats they are not going to torture fine so the questions of every subject are going to be easy easy questions provided every subject is done by you okay chal next now so beta what will happen there will be platelet aggregation to normal agonists like thrombin collagen adp that can happen but not to the risoset fine that cannot happen right beta plus one more thing you remember bernard baba big now here the you know baba thing works bb thing works bernard has big platelet fine here just remember bleeding time ko kya hota hai von willi brand factor ko apply your brain and apply and here remember big platelet fine and because the platelets are very big of you their number is going to be little less fine okay now glansman thromboasthenia we did why it is happening they both the both of them bernard and glansman are ar autosomal recessive okay now what happens glansman may group 2b 3b receptor is gone 3a receptor sorry and platelets now are not able to adhere to each other fine but the receptor for von willi brand factor von willi brand factor they are normal so now here platelets will not adhere to normal agonists okay like collagen or thrombin or adp but they will adhere to the von willi brand factor fine so this you should know and you should know ke bhai normal platelet size hota hai kyunki baba big kaha hota hai bernard so beta this you have to remember what is quickly answer what is the receptor for bernard solier quickly quickly jaldi se batao bernard solier ka receptor acha ek sath likh do 1 2 3 karke bernard solier ka receptor glansman ka asthenia ka receptor kaun sa destroyed hai and and please tell me ke bhai big big platelets kahan milte hain three questions yes beta and again i am repeating if you have not done this last month theek hai every disease you do thalassemia ho gaya sickle cell ho gaya g6pd ho gaya every disease you do whether in op whether in uh, omr whether in pathology or medicine प्लीज नो के भाई क्या है वो ऑटोसोमल रिसेसिव है एक्सलेंट है क्या है इफ यू हैव नॉट स्टार्टेड डूइंग इट प्लीज डोंट मेक अ मिस्टेक डेफिनेटली वन क्वेश्चन इज कमिंग ऑन दिस विद यू नो द वेरियस यू नो द डायग्राम्स वेर यू हैव टू यू नो मिक्स एंड मैच एंड फाइंड आउट वॉट यू नो इज द ट्रांसमिशन क्या है ऑटोसोमल रिसेसिव है के क्या है डोमिनेंट है आइदर दिस और यू नो दे विल आस्क यू द डिजीज so if you have not done beta ek page le lo theek hai last days mein ek page le lo jo disease pad rahe ho theek hai whatever theek hai jo aati hai ye nahi ke pata nahi kaun sa sa syndrome le liya and wo aap learn kar rahe ho rat rahe ho nahi plus pathology when we do the journal pathology and genetics pure unke mnemonics hote hain hai na nahi karne hai जेनेटिक्स में इसमें पैथोलॉजी के निमोनिक्स यू डू नॉट हैव टू डू वाई बिकॉज दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू आस्क यू सो मैनी डिजीजेस दे आर गोइंग टू आस्क यू नॉर्मल थिंग एक ऑन्थ्रोप्लेसिया पूछते हैं बार बार पूछते हैं आस्क कीप ऑन आस्किंग अबाउट इट रीड अबाउट इट नो इफ यू डोंट रीड अबाउट इट हाउ इट इज ट्रांसमिटेड हाउ यू नो वॉट हैपन्स इन इट देन इट्स अ ब्लंडर फाइन सो एवरी वन two pages keep aside anything you read write down ar xr x it is a dominant recessive please write down fine okay now this is the you know again i will re- keep on repeating it and definitely you have to do it one question will come from this okay and if suppose genes are there like marfan syndrome with gene is affected make it on a you know paper so that at the end of day when you don't know what to study you do all of this plus you do my doc chart theek hai plus you do my pharmac extra points which i will be giving to all of you fine okay now was is viscot aldrich syndrome 
it is x linked recessive it has a classical triad ramu has skin problem skin itching eczema or he has uh, you know small platelets and thrombocytopenia that means his bleeding time they won't write thrombocytopenia they will give you bleeding time is increased and he has repeated infections right these three things when they occur then bete it is a classical triad of was and was me sir sir say small platelet baba big platelet right clot retraction bete clot retraction dr shreyasi clot retraction bt is given wrong theek hai bt is given wrong fine agar specific puchte hai more specific then it is that clot retraction fine best assessment again clot fine okay bleeding time clotting time they are all generic terms hai na we cannot say generic but when we go further that becomes the most specific test okay now okay next is thrombocytopenia fine you have to know what is the cause for thrombocytopenia what all can be see beta aplastic anemia aplastic anemia you know you know you write down this question is going to come it is an all time this year favorite of examiners so aplastic anemia ko kaise pehchante hain rbc bhi less hai platelet less hai wbc less hai so obviously bt increase hai and the patient is having repeated infections with you know increase or decrease reticulocytosis decrease reticulo right this is very important clue right this i have already discussed in the anemic part so beta ye catch points aayenge when you are doing medicine question physiology questions i want it to be a piece of cake fine any question which comes from all these you should be able to do it theek hai should be hai ab ab to it is a mandatory thing karke hi aane hai galat nahi karne hai right anything which comes out of the blue do not take stress about it see beta if you take stress about you know some weird chest x ray and some weird uh, ct scan theek hai gone ho jayega paper leave it, it that question is not for you finish it fine okay next beta remember itp immunogenic thrombocytopenic purpura what happens there are antibodies against the platelets right it can be acute or chronic you have to know it acute is in 2 to 6 years abrupt onset hota hai history of pharyngitis hota hai and within few weeks it will have spontaneous remission theek hai here a child is always will be in the question and platelet count will be less than or equal to 20000 fine in chronic it will always be a middle aged person maybe a female and the platelet count is going to be towards lakh right 80000 50000 towards matlab a higher side and chronic doesn't undergo spontaneous re, uh, remission but acute does fine i don't need to tell you the clinical factors you know in this you know there will be a child fine so now ramu's child okay ramu's child has uh, increased bleeding time he had history of some fever about a week ago and on inspection it was found no splenomegaly fine hai uska no hepatomegaly no lymphadenopathy so this no is very important when you have such kind of history it is going to be itp fine now platelet transfusion we cannot do in itp why because already there is lot of antibodies fine again i have i don't think so uh, this question will come according to the platelets but if you have done ke bhai more than 50000 platelets hai kya karte hain this range is there what do we do that is good fine so you give prednisolone because obviously you give steroid in any kind of immunogenic you know disease that is happening fine and you can do splenectomy if you remember the range well and good if you do not remember the range do not bother at this point of time fine just remember acute spontaneous remission ho jayega and we just need to give a supportive therapy 
keep on a tab on the blood work and if suppose uh, there is a problem chronicity has occurred then prednisolone and splenectomy we can do iv immunoglobulin also we can go give and thrombopoietin analog rompiplostim just remember the name of the drug rompiplostim right and splenectomy again if the ramu's kid has to undergo splenectomy we would have to you know not the kid but whenever not just the kid whenever splenectomy is done pneumococcal vaccine has to be given but there is an age limit for that fine okay next is thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura i remember it as the terrible pentart Okay, we already talked we are going to have some problem with the Adam TS13 protease. Fine. So here we are having, <coughs> sorry, we are having the terrible pentad, five features. Whenever a big question is there and you find these five words or you know something like I am going to tell you. Then beta, the answer is very simple TTP. All the five things together occur nowhere else but TTP. Fine. So thrombocytopenia, they won't write thrombocytopenia. They won't give you a very easy thing. They will write BT time, bleeding time with thrombosis. Microangiopathic hemolytic anemia, we did. Hemolytic anemia ke signs of sakte hai. Right. Then renal failure, they won't give you renal failure. They will, they, they are not, they are not your best friends. That they are going to give you renal failure? No. Maybe they give you increased creatinine. Right. Maybe they give you increased bun. Laturia nitrogen. So you know. Some neurological deficit is there. And fever is there. Fine. So beta these five things. Or five you know if you can make out from the question. Then it is TTP. Fine. Okay. The mainstay or main treatment for TTP is plasma exchange therapy. Supplemental mein hum sab kuch kar sakte hain. Steroids, immunomodulators, splenectomy. That is like the later stage. But plasma exchange therapy. Hus is important from micro point of view. Right? Hemolytic uremic syndrome. Please remember it has four things. That we are having thrombocytopenia, anthrombosis, renal failure, fever and RBC destruction which is Coombs negative. And of course, platelets are less, so bleeding is there. Fine. So, beta, this is very important. Always, when we have thrombocytopenia, thrombocytopenia, we are going to see bleeding problem. Right? But there are few conditions, just my platelet number is less, still thrombosis is occurring. Fine. They are the TTPs, HUS and HIT. Hit we are going to do. Fine. So has occur in children and it is due to this infection. Everyone. E. coli O157 H7 strain. Right. And what will be the history? Uncooked pork, uncooked meat, uh, unpasteurized milk. Meat hi aata hai. Question mein always it is the meat. Fine. So you know treatment mein we do not cannot give antibiotics. So we have to depend upon either dialysis of plasma exchange. Why we cannot give antibiotics? Because we don't want the toxin to come out of it. Okay. So E. coli strain hai, Eschugella salmonella may also contribute. But the question always comes on E. coli. Fine. Now blood coagulation. I really wish, right, like a genie. Okay, you all know all these things better. Factor 1 to 13, anything can come. And I don't want you to miss uh, any of the factor. So you know it. I'm not going to waste your time and read every factor. Right? But know the important ones. Like this question can come. Which ion is participating in the coagulation cascade? Calcium ion. Okay? So ionic form of calcium. Labile kaun sa hota hai? Stable kaun sa hota hai? Anti-hemophilic A kaun sa hota hai? B kaun sa hota hai? Stuart, fibrin stabilizing factor. You all know. These are all the question. Fine. Fitzgerald, Fletcher. If the examiner wants to pick up question from the case set or the comment ke, he might give you. And you are well prepared. So this I am not, you know, revising with you. Because this has to be on tips. 
if it is not then beta please do it by tonight right i don't want any mistake okay let me just ask you which is factor fifth can you name factor five yes yes bete factor five ka naam batao chalo <coughs> And please tell me which is Christmas factor. Eight to sabko pata hota hai. Right? <clears throat> yes, beta, jaldi se. Okay, good. Now, bete, yes, now, bete, certain important points. Please remember which clotting factor, if suppose somebody is having a liver disease, this is a direct pickup line from your pathology. If suppose liver disease is there, which factor deficiency doesn't occur? So, factor 8. That means that person is not going to develop hemophilia. Liver cirrhosis will not hemophilia hemophilia. A. Right? So, please remember that. Fine? Okay, next this is very important. So revise again 2, 7, 9, 10. These are vitamin K dependent clotting factors. Why what? Why the vitamin K is required? Because it is required. See, question me synthesis aata hai. But if you are my student, you know it is not synthesis. It is activation. Right? So beta, agar activation option mein hai. So mark activation. Synthesis nahi. Activation. Active synthesis of activated 27910. Right? When you go to a MDS GDC college and there you would have to read your medicine. You know, keep my notes with you, Bete. Because this is what you know you have to learn even for your MDS preparation. When you are, you know, giving uh, in any stream you go, you have to read physiology, medicine again and again. So my notes, please keep it because they will help you even there. Fine. So, I don't want that my students should say, no ma'am, it is for synthesis, it is for activated. But question synthesis aata hai answer. Option is mein hota hai, so you know it. Fine. And I am, you know, very confident you are going to go into a GDC. Fine. So, why? Because gamma carboxylation of glutamic acid residue is done by vitamin K. You know the weak or thing. Okay. So, weak or bhi pata hai, gamma carboxylation pata hai. So, wo hota hai. Okay. Next, when vitamin K is deficient, the first factor to go is factor 7th. Because the shortest half-life is of 6 hours. Warfarin we are going to uh, revise. Fine. Okay, this, this will come in warfarin. See, when the vitamin K is deficient, it is not just going to affect the 2, 7, 9, 10. It is also going to affect protein C and protein S. Protein C and protein S are not the clotting factors. They are anti-clotting. But beta question me ek bar aisa aya. Ke they said which all clotting factors are uh, you know uh, not formed when there is vitamin K deficiency. And one of the options was 2, 7, 9, 10 protein C, protein S. Then don't apply your mind. No, mark it. Mark it. Because uh, usme baki option nahi hai. Don't uh, say ke ma'am ta protein C ko clotting kyun bola. Examiner's mistake. Do not, you know, examine the examiner's question in the paper. While you are giving do not question why the examiner did like this. Read the question. Whatever is best at that point of time. Mark it. Right? Their logic will work. But extra logic name it. Fine. So if that is in the option market. If suppose they ask you clotting factors, anti-clotting separately, do it separately. Fine. You know what you are all equipped. See, if you are a fighter and I teach you 10 moves, how you have to move your sword. Okay. And uh, the, you know, the enemy comes, suppose. And now, you know, you have to, you know, choose out of the 10 moves I taught you, which you are going to use it. You know, which one you are going to apply. Fine. Okay. 
ऑल द डिजीजेस ऑफ क्लॉटिंग फैक्टर डेफिशियंसी आर ए आर ठीक है दे तो पूरा ही चार्ट हो गया सारे ए आर है एक्सेप्ट एट एंड नाइन सो हिमोफीलिया सी बेटे हिमोफीलिया सी इज ड्यू टू डेफिशियंसी ऑफ विच फैक्टर जल्दी से इलेवेंथ इलेवेंथ इज गोइंग टू बी ए आर ए एंड बी दे आर गोइंग टू बी एक्स लिंक्ड रिसेसिव हेयर ओनली लेट मी डू टू क्वेश्चन एक्स लिंक्ड रिसेसिव सो बेटा प्लीज रिमेंबर मेल्स आर गोइंग टू बी अफेक्टेड फीमेल्स आर गोइंग टू बी कैरियर्स Correct. Now there is a question, you know, which is a uh, a female has uh, the feature of bleed into the joints, mucosal bleed, ecchymosis, and all those things. Plus, you know, joint bleeding is there. Joint bleeding is there. Now the choice comes: von Willebrand disease है or hemophilia A है. All you know, your mind will say hemophilia A. because the features of joint bleeding muscle problem muscle bleeding compartment syndrome nerve problems that all indicate hemophilia one willy brand nahi hota hai itna severe but better the here the catch point was a female in x linked recessive very 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 rarely female is affected theek okay? hai so please read the question carefully i know you will be tempted if you know the answer you will be tempted to mark it but give the proper time to question fine done with this i think you can do vascular hemophilia von willebrand deficiency autosomal hemophilia von willebrand disease para hemophilia factor 5 deficiency fine cryo precipitate cryo precipitate is rich in everything except nine factor everything se matlab i don't mean every factor 1 8 von willebrand factor 1 8 von willebrand factor so the question came can you give it in hemophilia b no it is not a source of factor 9 fine okay factors which are absent in the stored blood 5 and 8 minimum half life seventh factor please uh, in all the factor deficiency if suppose all the factors are deficient we give fresh frozen plasma theek okay? hai and beta please remember but this is not the best ha na if suppose there is a single factor deficiency and they give you what is the best you know replacement that you can give suppose <coughs> somebody has factor 8th deficiency then the answer is not going to be ffp then the answer is not going to be cryo precipitate the best thing is factor 8 replacement fine so choose wisely bete factor 8 replacement is the first one cryo precipitate second one ffp if nothing is in the option ffp we have to give fine then serum you know the two questions it is plasma minus 1258 यूजुअली क्या होता है प्लाज्मा माइनस फिब्रिनोजन फर्स्ट फैक्टर और इट इज द फैक्टर व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट इन बोथ सीरम एंड प्लाज्मा इज द सेवेंथ फैक्टर हेयर इन सीरम द सेरोटोनिन लेवल इज हाई व्हाई बिकॉज द प्लेटलेट्स आर ब्रोकन डाउन फाइन क्लॉटिंग मैकेनिज्म्स अगेन एक्सट्रेंसिक एंड इंट्रेंसिक प्लीज नोट एक्सट्रेंसिक जस्ट टू क्लॉटिंग फैक्टर्स थ्री एंड सेवन वेयर एज इंट्रेंसिक there are so many it starts from 12 11 then doesn't go to 10 10 is the common pathway 12 11 9 8 activated and then comes the common pathway the common pathway beta is starting from 10th fine just remember you know this is one question which comes see beta you in your uh, school days right all of you are common till the 10th but not here here after 10th you know the extrin the both the pathways merge into common pathway right so what is the time taken by extrinsic pathway that is pt fine and it involves time by the extrinsic pathway and the common pathway neeraj vadhavan mein this question has been given wrong answer it is only given pt measures only extrinsic no it measures both I think in the newer edition that mistake has been corrected. But if uh, if you are having an older edition, then beta uh, this mistake kindly note it. Okay. Next, 
इंट्रेंसिक में यू नो द क्लॉटिंग फैक्टर्स एवरी क्लॉटिंग फैक्टर्स यू नो द सीरीज एंड देन यू नो द कॉमन पाथवे इन द कॉमन पाथवे वी हैव द टेंथ एक्टिवेटेड एंड ऑल द पाथवे इज कैल्शियम इज अ कॉमन फैक्टर राइट एक्सेप्ट द फर्स्ट टू ऑफ द इंट्रेंसिक पाथवे द यू नो द एच एम डब्ल्यू काइनी नोचन प्री कैलिक्रीन ऑल दोज फैक्टर्स फिच राल्ड फैक्टर दे ऑल ऑल्सो पार्टिसिपेट इन इंट्रेंसिक फाइन you know prothrombin to thrombin how it happens in the calcium phospholipids from the platelets and factor 5a so here comes 5a where comes 8 eighth comes here you know it is combined to the von willebrand factor and this bond is broken by thrombin now question pops up इंट्रेंसिक में अभी थ्रोम्बिन तो बना ही नहीं सो हाउ इट ब्रेक्स बिकॉज एक्सट्रेंसिक का थ्रोम्बिन इज क्विकली फॉर्म दैट ब्रेक्स द बॉन्ड ऑफ वन विली ब्रांड फैक्टर टू फैक्टर एट फाइन ओके देन प्लीज रिमेंबर फैक्टर थर्टीन वंस अ लूज क्लॉट काइंड ऑफ अ थिंग इज फॉर्म फिप्रिन कोवलेंट बॉन्ड कोवलेंट क्रॉस लिंकिंग अंडर प्रेजेंस ऑफ कैल्शियम फैक्टर थर्टीन Cross linking occurs and tight plug is formed. All the things are very important. Calcium is very important. Okay, so uh, calcium is in present in all the steps. If you forget, but the first two steps of intrinsic pathway. Okay, prothrombin conversion complex. You should know that is. Just give me one second, bitte. Did it go? Hmm. Okay, just give me one second. I lost the page. Okay. Okay, I hope you know this is clear. See, but a blood say question always comes. It is never like blood will not be there in your exam, right? So, beta, please note prothrombin conversion complex, prothrombin calcium, tenth A, five A, and phospholipids. Fine. Next factors you should know which are exclusive to extrinsic, which are exclusive to intrinsic, which are in common pathway. Okay. So this I am trusting you all. Can you know all of this? Let us not waste time. Okay. We have to do pharmac also and blood grouping also. So, beta, important is PT. PT measures both. 10 टू 14 सेकेंड्स कॉमन भी होता है उसमें एक्सट्रेंसिक भी होता है अब क्वेश्चन में आ जाए पी टी मेजर ओनली एक्सट्रेंसिक ओनली इंट्रेंसिक बोथ एक्सट्रेंसिक इंट्रेंसिक या नन सो ऑब्वियसली डोंट यू नो वरी अबाउट द कॉमन पाथवे देयर मार्केट फाइन डू नॉट गेट कंफ्यूज ए पी टी टी इज एक्टिवेटेड पार्शल थ्रोम्बोप्लास्ट इन टाइम एंड इट मेजर बोथ इंट्रेंसिक एंड कॉमन थर्टी टू फोर्टी सेकेंड्स राइट नेक्स्ट ओके ब्लीडिंग टाइम यू मस्ट नो द लेस देन एट मिनट्स ड्यूक्स एंड आई वी बेटा पल्स में होता है अभी नहीं आता है इफ यू नो इट वेरी वेल इफ यू डोंट नो इट्स ओके फॉर गेट इट सो दिस इज व्हाट आई मीन बाय रिवीजन व्हेन आई ओपन अ पेज आई नो इसमें से क्या रिवाइज कराना है फाइन ओके सो वेन विल द पी टी इंक्रीज वेन देर इज एक्सक्लूसिवली यू नो डेफिशियंसी ऑफ फैक्टर सेवन एंड थ्री कॉमन पाथवे है तो उसमें पी टी एंड एपीटी बोथ विल गो and mild vitamin deficiency k why because the 2 7 9 10 the first one to go is seventh and of course warfarin therapy kyunki warfarin jo hota hai <coughs> it acts via vitamin k inhibition you all know that fine only isolated aptt deficiency of the factors which are uh, common to them isme do baat ho jate hain what are the two parts one will have bleeding disorder bleeding ho gaya joint mein ho gaya so they are the 8 9 11 right the other one is no bleeding history a patient child is there who has to undergo tonsillectomy and he has no bleeding history absolutely no bleeding history but his uh, lab tests were done bleeding time was normal but aptt was high pt was normal when such kind of history is given it is 12 deficiency factor 12 deficiency contact factor deficiency pre calicrine or hmw kininogen so these three do not have any bleeding history i hope you know that hemophilia mein to bleeding hoga 
राइट ब्लीडिंग हिस्ट्री होगा डिपेंडिंग अपॉन यू नो वेदर इट इज माइल्ड मॉडरेट सिवियर फाइन स्मॉल हैपर इन कंटेमिनेशन ऑफ द सैंपल एंड ल्यूपस एंटी क्वेकुलेंट फाइन सो दिस आई हैव टॉट यू व्हाट आर कॉन्टैक्ट डिजीजेस व्हाट आर नॉट सी बेटा यू विल बी टेम्प्टेड एज सुन एज इट इज एपिटिटी हाई यू विल बी टेम्प्टेड बाई हिमोफीलिया राइट बट नो थिंक अबाउट ब्लीडिंग एंड नॉन ब्लीडिंग If it is no bleeding, then it can be contact diseases or it can be the lupus anticoagulant. Fine. Okay. Next, both platelets, uh, PT, sorry, PT count and APTT increases when there is severe vitamin K deficiency. Heparin has been added in very high doses. Fine. एंड कॉमन फैक्टर डेफिशियंसी आई एन आर पे डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन होता है नथिंग वॉट इज दैल्यू पॉइंट एट टू वन पॉइंट टू नॉर्मल एंड इट इज इंटरनेशनल नॉर्मलाइज रेशो ये भी नहीं पूछते हैं पी टी टेस्ट बाई पी टी नॉर्मल जस्ट नो इट इज अ रेशो सो इट हैज नो यूनिट्स ये नहीं होगा पॉइंट एट टू वन पॉइंट टू वॉट टाइम सेकेंड्स नथिंग इट इज जस्ट अ रेशो fine if it is very high then it is bleeding if it is less than clotting can occur fine and one more thing about in pt inr especially pt inr whenever a patient is a patient of cirrhosis fine acute hai chronic hai the pt inr is of great importance and it is altered you know almost like firstly it will be altered why because vitamin k dependent clotting factors uh, the liver is the main site of all the organs you know except agar except aata nahi hai but if it, if it is as 3 and 13 and 8 pe bhi koi effect nahi hota but if liver is problem the pt inr is a problem fine and that is the first to show in the lab report fine when we do liver we will work on it even more okay lupus anticoagulant no it is uh, anti phospholipid syndrome may found out hota hai or sle 5% in 5% cases of sle it is a misnomer in vivo it is a procoagulant it causes clotting but in vitro it is anticoagulant fine so please know it and what will happen for if somebody is having lupus anticoagulant or someone is having aps anti phospholipid syndrome please remember shilpa shetty repeated abortion that is why she had to undergo surrogacy fine for the second child then recurrent if there is a history of woman who is having recurrent abortions uh, iugr that is the growth restriction intrauterine growth restriction or something wrong is happening to her then it is uh, the aps and you are going to find lupus anticoagulant fine fine okay okay next is hemophilia a you must know it and i think you know it fine males are affected x linked affected factor 9 is gone no a is gone इस पे बहुत क्वेश्चन आते हैं बेटा रीसेंट क्वेश्चन आया इस पे आई थिंक 2021 पेपर इफ यू हैव बीन डूइंग द पी वाई क्यूज देन आई थिंक 2021 पेपर में या 2022 में से मतलब 21 टू 23 में दिस क्वेश्चन हैज कम इन मेडिसिन एंड इन पैथो सो प्लीज नोट दिस चार्ट एंड दिस हैज टू बी ऑन योर टिप्स राइट लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन सडनली दस है कि भाई द द फैक्टर द नॉर्मल कंसनट्रेशन द कंसनट्रेशन ऑफ द फैक्टर इज अराउंड दिस मच वॉट इट विल बी माइल्ड होगा मॉडरेट होगा या सिवियर होगा सो नो इट मोर देन फाइव परसेंट सिक्स टू थर्टी सिक्स ब्लीडिंग अकर्स मेजरली तो मेजर सर्जरी में सो माइल्ड लेस देन फाइव परसेंट में प्लीज नो टू टू फाइव परसेंट स्पॉन्टेनियस ब्लीडिंग में आका and less than 1% severe life threatening so beta the, these percentages please note recent question in 2021 fine and then they will ask you bhai itna hai 6% hai mera kisi ka 6% hai they will say 6% right this was i think the question yes 6% is the value it is mild moderate severe mild fine like this they may ask you okay in hemophilia you will be always given a male one thing 
if female is there it has to be uh, you know uh, that you all know how the female will be affected otherwise always always male will be there if female is there consider von willebrand disease once think about it fine next you all know there will be a male who will be having a swollen knee joint fine muscle problem will be there compartment syndrome or osteoporosis but yes this particular thing a man is there or an x-ray is there where there is blood filled cavity of the joint then you know you must think bhai ye to hemophilia hai okay next i told you all of this how to treat best is this factor 8 replacement then cryo then ffp राइट एफ एफ पी इज द वेरी पुअर सोर्स क्योंकि एफ एफ पी में सब कुछ होता है बट बेटे एफ एफ पी का एक फार्मैक क्वेश्चन है विटामिन नॉट विटामिन वॉरफेरिन इंड्यूस्ड ब्लीडिंग वॉट इज द ड्रग गिवन एफ एफ पी एंटीडोट इज विटामिन के वॉरफेरिन टॉक्सिसिटी द एंटीडोट इज विटामिन के वी ऑल नोट नो दैट बट नोट करो बेटा If suppose they give you that bleeding has occurred, then you know FFP is to be given. Fine, this we will do. Okay, this I think you must know. You must have done an oral surgery. So let us not repeat it. Minor surgery, me how you know you have to manage a hemophilia A patient. Major surgery, me what you have to do. ठीक है वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट है बेटा वन डोज क्राइ प्रेसिपिटेड बिफोर सर्जरी प्लस द ट्रांस एक्सेमिक एसिड क्यू आई डी फॉर फाइव डेज ठीक है मेजर सर्जरी में यू गिव वन डोज क्रायो प्रेसिपिटेट वन डोज ऑफ क्रायो प्रेसिपिटेट बिफोर सर्जरी एंड देन यू गिव ऑन कीप फॉर द फोर डेज यू कीप ऑन गिविंग वन डोज एंड देन ट्रांस एक्सामिक एसिड क्यू आई डी फाइव डेज फाइन हिमोफीलिया ए एंड नाइन नो द डिफरेंस विच यू नो एट से होता है नाइन से होता है वॉट इज गोइंग टू बी पीटी इन इट हिमोफीलिया ए एट और नाइन से है नथिंग टू डू विद एक्सट्रेंसिक PT को याद रखो बेटा थ्री एंड सेवन दैट्स इट ब्लीडिंग टाइम विल बी नॉर्मल ए पी टी दोनों में ही इट विल बी हाई क्लॉटिंग टाइम विल बी हाई प्लेटलेट काउंट नॉर्मल टॉनिक वेट टेस्ट नॉर्मल क्रायो प्रेसिपिटेट इज गिवन इन एट नॉट इन द नाइन डेफिशियंसी डी डी ए वे पी इज नथिंग बट डेस्मो प्रेसिन उसका काम क्या होता है बेटा टू रिलीज वन विली ब्रांड फैक्टर फ्रॉम इट्स सब एंडोथीरियल स्टोर्स so it does almost the same thing fine so this desmopressin uh, ddavp can be given in factor 8 deficiency and in von willebrand disease why in factor 8 because von willebrand factor is attached to it okay next von willebrand disease please remember it can be recessive also autosomal it can be dominant also autosomal dominant right but majorly if they give you a choice suppose mark autosomal dominant right and it is known as autosomal hemophilia it is most common hereditary bleeding disorder in this everything is going to be normal pt bt right but what is altered is number 1 oh sorry not bt bt is not normal number 1 bt bt is going to be increased number 1 second beta aptt aptt see beta if i apply logic then aptt is going to be high why because eighth beta von willebrand factor is a guard eight von willebrand factor goes eight goes fine so increase but pathology books write it as normal okay so that is one problem if you get a choice between normal and increase mark increased fine okay ristocetin platelet aggregation is a problem why because von willebrand factor is gone right and treatment ddavp i just told you desmopressin cryo precipitate to be given okay next please note von willebrand disease hemophilia a note it beta this is x linked this is autosomal dominant fine in von willebrand factor we are going to see deep bleeds with mucosal bleeds deep bleeds seldom seldom fine in hemophilia always the joint the muscle the nerves everything will be involved right bleeding time is one indicator one clue you can differentiate hemophilia mein bleeding time ka koi bhi connection not there fine aptt 
uh, in the question can be increased i have put increase first normal later because you should know okay patho books might write it normal and then i don't want you to get confused okay and another test is the ristocetin uh, platelet aggregation which is going to be defective in von willebrand normal in hemophilia right so both of these can be differentiated based upon bleeding time the von willebrand factor and the aptt and the ristos no aptt to dono mein slight increase hai but aptt ka range will be less in von willebrand okay it will be near normal okay okay so this i have done okay now dic question aa jata hai kai bar not very very favorite but still you know they do every i think every 2 to 3 years they give a question on dic because dic is a problem bete dic even occurred during covid times dic is something which is matlab uncommon but still common right so dic is disseminated intravascular coagulopathy so you just know it as i have taught you in this what happens lot of coagulation starts happening clots thrombotic phase occurs then sare all the clotting factors platelets everything is consumed so there comes a stage when the patient is literally having zero clotting factors matlab just to you know teach you the concept and zero platelets kind of stage at this stage the bleeding time clotting time aptt pt tt everything rise so there is a patient who gave birth ठीक है ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है ऑब्स्टेट्रिक कॉम्प्लिकेशन है डीआईसी या किसी सेप्सिस की कॉम्प्लिकेशन है फाइन सो लेडी पोस्टमार्टम यू नो स्टार्टेड हैविंग ब्लीडिंग हर लैब रिपोर्ट्स के बीटी सीटी एपीडीटी पीटी एवरीथिंग हाई सब हाई हो गया है सो इट इज व्हेन एवरीथिंग इज हाई योर आंसर इज डीआईसी नो अदर डिजीज हैज एवरीथिंग हाई फाइन ओके because there is a stage of lot of clot lysis there is increase ftps that is fibrin disintegrating products the d dimer test and uh, uh, decrease fibrin nodule level i don't think this question will come so skip karte hain ek bar us padh lete hain ki agar puchte hain ki bhai bleeding ko predict karne ka what is the test decrease fibrin nodule level causes i told you sepsis gram negative uh, bacteria especially the falciparum plasmodium that can cause so history of malaria burns can cause post obstetric complication aur ek humne abhi padha tha aml which one m3 right acute promyelocytic leukemia the other two non obstetric things which lead to dic shehan's syndrome and adiposo genital syndrome so just remember shehan's syndrome is associated with dic and adiposo genital syndrome associated with dic fine you treat the underlying disease whatever is happening to the lady you do that and you give all the factors all everything you give you give platelet you give everything so fresh frozen plasma is what you give fine next is hit hit is heparin induced thrombocytopenia so in this there will be a history of 5 days prior heparin okay a doctor prescribed heparin or ramu was taking heparin uh since maybe 4 days 5 days 3 days that history will be there क्वेश्चन खत्म हैपरिन का नाम सुनते ही इफ प्लेटलेट्स आर लेस इट इज हिट फाइन एंड इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ अनफ्रैक्शनेटेड हिपरिन मोर इन द फीमेल्स वीनस थ्रोम्बोसिस होती है इट इज नॉट आर्टीरियल इवन दिस हैज बीन अ क्वेश्चन फार्म है क्वेश्चन हाउ डू यू ट्रीट हिट यू स्टॉप हैपरिन इमीडिएटली एंड यू गिव डायरेक्ट थ्रोम्बिन इनिबिटर्स फाइन then beta clot retraction you must know thrombosthenin actin and myosin they are also there but thrombosthenin clot retraction may 40% clot retracts by 40% of its size clot retraction starts after 20 minutes of the injury and 6 to 24 hours it should be completed these are all the questions which had come once in neat okay so i covered it okay see again clot retraction test or time more specific more specific 
बेटा ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है वहां जाके बीटी मत कर देना बीटी इफ यू मार्क बीटी इज अ टेस्ट फॉर प्लेटलेट नो डाउट अबाउट इट पर अगर स्पेसिफिक अप्रोप्रिएट पूछा देन दिस फाइन ओके देन क्लॉट लाइसिस इन दिस यू ऑल नो थ्रोम्बिन द लाइसिस अकर्स हेयर प्रोटीन सी प्रोटीन एस विल कम द फिजियो क्वेश्चन इज थ्रोम्बोमोडिलिन what is thrombomodulin it is a thrombin binding protein which is present in all endothelial cells except cerebral micro circulation fine so this is one very important take all of this inside the information and beta this you should know protein c is activated and all that all that please note this whole thing right what is important here is plasminogen plasminogen pe tpa it converts it into plasmin theek hai this plasmin is fibrinolysin this breaks fibrin into fdps and for the fdps we have a d dimer test what is factor 5 ladin uh, ini question neat me i don't think so it will come but still let us just read once factor 5 ladin it is uh, the factor 5 it becomes resistant to the activated protein c right and venous thrombosis occurs so in this patient there is lot of thrombosis fine okay you all know this question very easy why blood doesn't clot in normal blood vessels smooth endothelial surface and thrombomodulin is there right and you know heparin is present in the mast cells so all of this please note theek hai anti thrombin 3 and heparin they form a very very potent uh, complex which has a lot of pot anti thrombin activity fine bete so this was all about your um, the uh, medicine patho and a little bit physiology also of the hemostasis now let us just do quickly the pharmac quickly bete theek hai bahut quickly karte hain because this is one topic which you must know and i really really hope that you know theek hai see in pharmac again i am repeating my students know it you all know it anti platelet drugs एनएसएड डायबिटीज डायूरेटिक्स डेफिनेट क्वेश्चन है बेटे डेफिनेट सो इफ यू हैव नॉट रिवाइज दीज फोर थिंग्स ठीक है हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी रिएक्शंस मतलब हंड्रेड परसेंट है इसमें यू कैन नॉट मिस आउट एनी थिंग राइट सो प्लीज डू ऑल ऑफ दीज टॉपिक्स लेट एस क्विकली रिवाइज इट एंटी प्लेटलेट ड्रग्स में यू नो एस्पिरिन aspirin this is one antiplatelet drug which is used in the prophylaxis of mi ha na ji nsaid which is used in the prophylaxis of mi question what it is low dose may use hota hai all of these are questions you know it low dose it is a non selective cox inhibitor non selective irreversible hai right it cannot be given in child less than 12 years by because of race syndrome the uh, it uh, you know race syndrome ho jata hai so we don't give aspirin right and it may it cause hyperuricemia aspirin se first what happens is respiratory alkalosis then metabolic acidosis respiratory alkalosis is reversible metabolic acidosis by aspirin poisoning not reversible Fine. What is the dose? Low dose होती है seventy five mg वाली या forty two, maybe three hundred. They give you the option, right? So low dose. ये बहुत important है बेटा aspirin के बारे में. Fine. And it inhibits what? It inhibits thrombosine A two. Cox inhibitor है. So obviously thrombosine A two will go. Thrombosine A two गया. So the platelet cannot, you know, do the various functions of adhesion and aggregations. Aggregation mainly. fine so this is important next clopidogrel and ticlopidin uh it is a pro drug clopidogrel aapko pata hona chahiye and it we do not give omeprazole with it theek hai next please note reversible adp receptor can be can uh, can griglor or ticagriglor fine so please note that this table you should know bete this you should know what are the strongest antiplatelet drugs group 2a 2b 3a receptor inhibitor 
फाइन सो ग्रुप टू बी थ्री ए रिसेप्टर इनहिबिटर दे आर द स्ट्रॉन्गेस्ट दे आर द स्ट्रॉन्गेस्ट एप सिक्सी मै एप टी रोफिबैन एप टी एप एप टी फी बटीन राइट सो प्लीज नॉट ये नहीं आता है एप सिक्सी मै भी आता है राइट सो नो इट फाइन ओके देन लोसार्टन दिस क्वेश्चन हैज कम विच इज द एस इनहिबिटर विच हैज लिटिल बिट ऑफ एंटी प्लेटलेट एक्शन लोसार्टन Fine. If there is arterial thrombosis, we give anti-platelet drugs. For the venous thrombosis, we give anticoagulants. Fine. Okay. Okay. Next, let us come to see what what is the purpose of this anti-platelet thing. Clopidogrel, jan lo. Clopidogrel should be on your tips. Aspirin should be on your tips. Which are the irreversible ADP receptor inhibitors? You must know. Which are the reversible ones? You must know. Which are the group two B three A receptor inhibitor? You must know. ठीक है वोरा पक्सार पे भी क्वेश्चन आया है. So वोरा पक्सार नेम में ही आपको पता है. Right? It is coming as PAR one antagonist. Fine. So these are the important drugs which you should know. Especially you know the clopidogrel and aspirin. they come when a direct question comes so do not you know make a mistake in this fine anticoagulants you all know they can be oral which are vitamin k inhibitors direct thrombin inhibitors or factor 10th a inhibitors vitamin k inhibitors dicumarol and warfarin can be there they inhibit 27 9 10 activation they inhibit gamma carboxylation of glutamic acid residues also protein c and s are gone now the question came a patient ramu was given uh, warfarin he started having purple toe purple toe some kind of reaction at the toe blue color toe so beta what is happening here yes factor 7 is going but even before that you know some protein c and s are inhibited because of which hypercoagulation occurs so that is known as purple toe fine which occurs in warfarin therapy initial few days warfarin inhibits weak or vitamin k epoxide reductase right warfarin is taking a lot of time to act 4 to 5 days so hum isko uh, emergency mein we do not use we give it for maintenance plus it is never to be given to the pregnant ladies except there is a uh, Uh, you know a time period where we can shift to warfarin right that time period i will give you now contrary indicated in the fetal because of the fetal warfarin syndrome you all know nasal you know pichka hua naak aata hai that is the major major thing of the warfarin syndrome we have done the drugs which are contra indicated in pregnancy aaj hi revise karke sona right which can be given antibiotics which cannot be given choice of uh, um, the anti diabetic medicine in pregnancy choice of anticoagulant in pregnancy heparin so note it now overdose if it occurs oh, then of course bleeding is the side effect seventh goes on first antidote is vitamin k if bleeding occurs ffp this to i taught you ठीक है बट अगर आता है व्हाट इज द एंटीडोट एंटीडोट चार्ट आल्सो आई हैव गिवन टू यू सो इफ प्लीज बेटा एंटीडोट चार्ट लर्न कर लो वन क्वेश्चन इन फार्मेकोलॉजी फ्रॉम एंटीडोट विल कम वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द डीओसी ऑफ एंटीबायोटिक्स विल कम ठीक है सो देखो आई एम टेलिंग यू द पेपर राइट सो आई एम टेलिंग यू द पेपर इवन आफ्टर दिस इफ यू डू नॉट स्टडी बेटा then what should i do i should you know maybe you know i should uh, really feel bad about it but i will not because i know you are going to really you know learn it so two things you have to revise tonight before sleeping pregnancy drug and antidote aayega hi aayega fine injectables anticoagulant indirect thrombin inhibitors fine or direct thrombin inhibitors ye question aata hai डायरेक्ट थ्रोम्बिन इनिबिटर्स को हम कहाँ यूज करते हैं बेटे वी आर यूजिंग इन हिट सो अर्गैट्रोबैन डी ओ सी फॉर हिट 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 अर्गैट्रोबैन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट राइट दिस चार्ट इफ यू नो वेल इफ यू डोंट नो इट्स ओके अनफ्रैक्शनेटेड किसको इनिबिट करता है इट इनिबिट्स बोथ टू एंड टेंथ 
लो मॉलिकुलर वे टेंथ एंड टेंथ को इनहिबिट मोर एंड फोंडा पेरिनक्स ओनली इनहिबिट्स टेंथ ए राइट इट इज द एंटीक्वैगुलेंट ऑफ चॉइस इन प्रेगनेंसी एंटीडोट इज for the heparin protamin sulfate see both these drugs anti platelet anti coagulant side effect can be bleeding right and side effect of heparin just remember both ha both a right bleeding osteoporosis hit hyperkalemia alopecia so heparin is one one drug you must know fine difference between warfarin and heparin you must know heparin subcutaneous bhi dete hain iv bhi dete hain it acts by activating with the combining with the antithrombin 3 right which is emergency used which is the doc in pregnancy right how do we monitor it warfarin is majorly monitored by the ptinr heparin ke liye ptt aptt fine what is the antidote again protamin sulfate to beta again and again ka question hai Right, with warfarin you have to know certain interactions. Warfarin with erythromycin, ciprofloxacin, sub all of this you have to know which are the enzyme inducers, enzyme inhibitors. If ये question is a repeat question, somebody has been given rifampicin, fine, and uh, warfarin has been given. What will you do to the dose of warfarin? Either you replace by heparin or you increase the dose. fine because rifampicin acts as an enzyme inducer sulfonamides repeat question they displace warfarin from the plasma binding sites right cefepirazone cefepirazone is one drug which has you know hypoprothrombinemia effect right so please remember these few interactions they are very important right you must have seen the warfarin questions very important the other oral ones can be direct thrombin inhibitor these are oral right dabigatron and that is also direct thrombin inhibitor dabigatron tha aur kaun sa tha hamara ergatroban to almost similar sound ho rahe dabigatron and ergatroban like this these are the two ones which always come fine factor 10th a inhibitor please remember it has 10th a in its name apixaban so xa is 10th a inhibitor there there won't be any confusion fine antidotes again repeat warfarin vitamin k par agar bleeding ho gayi hai ffp heparin protamin sulfate for dabigatron you give idari just write it beta idaru cesumab idaru cesumab for apixaban and exanet alpha right these are the new ones i have given it in your Uh, doc ppt fine thrombolytic drugs you must know fine thrombolytic hai kya karte hain they are going to lyse it like streptokinase urokinase retiplase altiplase and ectiplase fine streptokinase may derive from the streptococcus so obviously allergy chances are there the recombinant tpa retiplase they do not have uh, allergy one very important thing side effect of any of these three category of drugs is bleeding right if you have been given an overdose of thrombolytic then eac or transexamic acid has to be given right okay then beta this chart i have given you in sure shot fine absolute contraindication kisi ko stroke aaya tha just 3 months back intracranial hemorrhage recent surgery and uh, you know head trauma or recent something has happened so you will not give that fine relative and absolute me say absolute contraindications of the streptokinase urokinase they come please learn it okay okay so here we finish all of this i have told you filgastrin question has come cancer patient wbc low filgastrin fine okay now let us just revise blood grouping what are the questions see blood grouping and blood transfusion or i am just saying blood grouping or your blood transfusion chapter from your surgery you have to do it theek hai either of them me se one question comes 
either it will be on the blood transfusion thing and which is the hepatitis most common hepatitis by blood transfusion hepatitis b confusion nahi hona chahiye hona hi nahi chahiye ab to what is the drug of choice for status asthmaticus or acute asthma you should you know mark it saba there should not be any confusion in such very easy questions fine abo blood group i hope you all of all of you know it very easy hota hai beta and pata hai paper mein sabse zyada dukh kya hota hai yahi hota hai agar easy question ko aap miss kar do and bahar aake bolo oh pada tha ye to right this happened to me warfarin mein hua tha isliye i always always tell my students ke warfarin heparin padh lo you know even read warfarin heparin if you have kg tripathi ठीक है गिव इट अ रीड दिस आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ड्रग्स फाइन गिव इट अ रीड कि उसमें कुछ एक्स्ट्रा हो जाता है सो जस्ट रीड इट फ्रॉम के डी टी वंस वॉरफरिन एंड हैपरिन एंड यू विल बी सॉटेड फाइन ओके सो दिस इज वॉट यू हैव टू डू इन रिविशन बेटे आई एम नॉट स्ट्रेचिंग स्ट्रेसिंग ऑन एनी अदर ड्रग लॉन्गेस्ट एक्टिंग शॉर्टेस्ट एक्टिंग नो एस्प्रिन क्लॉपीडोग्रल वॉरफरिन हैपरिन फोर ड्रग्स इफ यू नो एंड यू नो द क्लासिफिकेशन रिवर्सिबल इ रिवर्सिबल टिका ग्रिल और क्या है सॉर्टेड हो वाई यू हैव टू नो के आई डोंट रिमेंबर विच इज शॉर्टेस्ट विच इज लॉन्गेस्ट नहीं आएगा ठीक है अभी तक यू हैव डन द पास्ट ईयर पेपर्स यू हैव डन ना हैव यू सीन द शॉर्टेस्ट लॉन्गेस्ट क्वेश्चन शॉर्टेस्ट एक्टिंग लॉन्गेस्ट एक्टिंग देखा है सच बताओ देखा है बेटा विच इज द बट ये क्वेश्चन आएगा भाई ये नहीं पूछते कि भाई सुमा ट्रिप्टन है या कौन सा ट्रिप्टन है शॉर्टेस्ट है लॉन्गेस्ट है नहीं ये क्वेश्चन नहीं है क्वेश्चन है एक्यूट जो अटैक आता है माइग्रेन का ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस क्या है ठीक है सो नाउ बेटा इफ यू डोंट रिमेंबर द शॉर्टेस्ट लॉन्गेस्ट और यू डोंट रिमेंबर सेकेंड्स इट्स ओके दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू आस्क यू दैट फाइन क्लियर हुआ पता चला कैसे रिवाइज करना है रिवाइज का मतलब ये नहीं है पॉइंट पॉइंट देखना ओके चलो ओके ए बी ओ ब्लड ग्रुप चलो एक जोक करते हैं फिर फाइव मिनट में रिवाइज करते हैं एंड फिनिश करते हैं फाइन ए बी ओ ब्लड ग्रुप सी देर वॉज देर वर टू फ्रेंड्स हु वर टॉकिंग सो सडनली एक एक्सीडेंट हो गया द वन फ्रेंड यू नो वॉज फेटली इंजर्ड एंड समाउ दे टुक हिम टू द हॉस्पिटल and the friend died the friend died so the on matlab the funeral day the other friend was giving a speech my friend was a very good friend you know we needed to give him blood but i did not know his blood group and you know when the doctor came and he said he is going to die we need to give him blood do you know his blood group he is otherwise he is dying he is a dead meat and you know my friend was so sweet he start you know he was he kept on shouting be positive be positive and me and doctor you know they were saying are we are positive but you need blood you need blood or you are going to die my friend was very good he was very very positive right so this doesn't happen bete this doesn't happen fine the friends uh, be blood group ki wajah se not many people die because we match it and we have the blood group ready fine okay ji chalo so blood group mein sabse pehle inherited as mendelian dominant <clears throat> you all know it then please remember antigen antigen is present on the rbc antibody is present in the plasma two thing first thing second thing third thing beta <clears throat> the antigen which is present on the rbc that you know same antibody is not going to be in the plasma otherwise in you and me all the blood will you know undergo lysis ha na abo incompatibility will occur lysis will occur so if a is the antigen antibody will be different fine land steiner law you must know what is land steiner law but the rh1 doesn't follow the second right please remember in india the maximum blood group is b positive you know you ask anybody b b b b b world mein o positive 
right minimum in the world in india is ab group right next this can be asked hey, how do i use the parental dispute problems how do i use the blood group because you know there is a specific pattern you know how to make the chart if you don't know beta please do it how you have to make the chart how you can know that a blood group hai b blood group hai can the patient be some other the child be of some other blood group so for it is used for the disputes fine okay one more question has come the uh, it is just not limited to the rbc but these things can be present in the saliva pancreas kidney liver lungs testes semi uh, semen and amniotic fluid theek hai okay acha this question has also come why antibodies are present in the plasma because antigens you know we are also taking from the food and intestinal bacteria that is why the antibody can be there in the plasma okay this you should know in this bete you should know what is you know the h blood group fine which is the bombay blood group bombay blood group mein see sabse pehle whenever formation of abo antigen is happening h is formed h antigen is formed h antigen is the base level jaise nutrient broth hota hai na uske andar add kar do chocolate bana do blood bana do agar kuch kar do like that so h is that nutrient broth on that when we add n acetyl uh, galactosamine we get blood group a when we add galactose blood group b if we add both of these ab blood group neither o blood group so in any case a b a b o h is always going to be present h is nutrient broth getting my point but in bombay blood group h antigen is also not there एच नहीं है ए नहीं है बी नहीं है कोई नहीं है जब ब्रॉथ ही नहीं है सो नथिंग इज देयर फाइन सो दिस यू शुड नो इन द ब्लड ग्रुप हाउ यू कैन मेक आउट एंटीजन इज सेम एज द ब्लड ग्रुप प्लस एच तो है ही ओमनी प्रेजेंट एंटीबॉडी कौन सी होगी जो कि आपका एंटीजन नहीं है वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंटी बी बी में द एंटीजन इज गोइंग टू बी बी एच एंटीबॉडी इज एंटी ए ठीक है बेटा प्लीज रिवाइज इट ए बी हैज थ्री एंटीजन्स नॉट टू थ्री है ना ए बी एन एच ओ में एच है और कुछ नहीं है फाइन प्लाज्मा में एंटीबॉडीज किसके नहीं है एंटीबॉडीज किसके नहीं है ए बी के फाइन बॉम्बे ब्लड ग्रुप हैज नो एंटीजन एच इज आल्सो गॉन द न्यूट्रिय ब्रॉथ इज ऑल्सो गॉन but it has all the antibodies that is why bombay blood group ko a b o a b o negative o positive nobody can give blood bombay blood group can receive blood from bombay blood group fine okay then bete this question often comes which i think you must do this one if suppose there is o blood group and we give suppose this is a slide theek hai there will be three things right i add anti sera a anti sera means antibody i add anti sera b and suppose i add rh to pehle isko dekhte hain a and b ko right now bete when i add anti sera a if the rbcs are having a antigen then they are going to clump right so please remember if the blood group is a on anti serum a we are going to see clumping not with anti sera b that is how we can know a blood group hai ya b group blood group hai if it is ab blood group both the antigens are present clumping will be on both if there is just no clumping at all in any then it is o. fine this is forward grouping reverse grouping may we add a cell it is opposite theek hai hum rbc dalte hain fine so a cell added so it is opposite learn forward grouping reverse grouping is totally opposite fine okay then beta please note this 
एंटी डी क्या हो गया आर एच एंटी डी क्या हो गया आर एच सो इफ सपोज द ब्लड ग्रुप इज आर एच पॉजिटिव ए बी सपोज ए बी पॉजिटिव देन यू विल हैव क्लंपिंग इन दिस साइड ए में एंटी सीरा ए में एंटी सीरा बी में एंड वेन एंटी डी और आर एच वाला जो डालते हैं हम उसमें डाला देर ऑल्सो क्लॉटिंग विल आका ठीक है सो दैट विल बी पॉजिटिव दिस वे यू कैन फाइंड आउट यू मे गेट अ स्लाइड लाइक दिस एंड आई थिंक इट इज वेरी इजी सी लुक एट द वेरियस यू नो ब्लड टेस्ट डन हेयर स्लाइड टेस्ट ब्लड टाइपिंग टेस्ट सी ओ नेगेटिव कुछ भी नहीं है नो एंटीजन राइट देर इज नो क्लंपिंग राइट लेट एस लुक एट ए बी पॉजिटिव ए मे क्लंपिंग वेन आई एड एंटी सीरा बी क्लंपिंग एंटी डी क्लंपिंग fine all are having clumping right this way please note and just do the things in your mind okay so this kind of question has also been you know coming okay if suppose the blood group is o first of all though you tell me you all know which is the uh, universal donor o blood group which is the universal recipient ab negative राइट सो प्लीज नोट कि ये क्वेश्चन आ सकता है यूनिवर्सल डोनर यूनिवर्सल तो दैट वी कैन गिव राइट एंड इफ सपोज वी आर नॉट एबल टू मैच ब्लड देन वी कैन गिव द ब्लड ऑफ ओ बिकॉज इट्स अ यूनिवर्सल डोनर प्रेफरेबली नेगेटिव हो तो अच्छा है इफ इट इज नेगेटिव इट इज गुड पॉजिटिव भी है तो भी ठीक है ठीक है सो प्लीज नोट इट ओके ओ पेशेंट ग्रुप राइट सो इफ इट इज ओ पेशेंट देन ही इज अ यूनिवर्सल डोनर डोनर सो बेटा फॉर द रेड सेल डोनेशन और द ब्लड डोनेशन हमें ओ ही लेना होगा राइट फॉर द एफ एफ पी एफ एफ पी क्या हो जाता है बेटे एफ एफ पी इज द प्लाज्मा फॉर द प्लाज्मा इट कैन बी ऑल अदर ऑल्सो ठीक है ए ब्लड ग्रुप में वी हैव द डोनर एज ओ एंड ए Fine. For A B we can give A B blood group. A also we can give. B also we can give. O also we can give. Right. Just remember, whenever we give anything, that becomes the antigen. So if you ever get confused, just remember you are giving the antigen. Suppose A blood group patient is there, you are giving A antigen. So obviously it is going to be fine. But if a B blood group person is there, you are giving A blood group A antigen. The plasma has antibody A. क्योंकि opposite होता है ना? अगर A blood group है A antigen है, antibody कौन सी है? B है, right? So now if you are giving this patient B blood group to A one, what happens? It already has the antibody reaction occurs. ठीक है? आया समझ? Very good. ओके फाइन अच्छा ये वाला क्वेश्चन बेटा इट हैज कम वंस इन वन ऑफ योर पेपर्स नॉट इन नीट आई थिंक बट समेयर इट हैज बीन देयर कि देयर इज अ पेशेंट ऑफ ए प्लस ब्लड ग्रुप व्हाट ऑर्डर कैन यू गिव यू नो व्हाट ऑर्डर ऑफ ब्लड कैन दैट पर्सन गिव सो दैट पर्सन कैन गेट ए ब्लड फ्रॉम ए प्लस ए नेगेटिव ऑल्सो राइट नेगेटिव है तो आर एच नेगेटिव तो है ही नहीं तो इट इज सेफर इट कैन गेट ब्लड फ्रॉम ओ पॉजिटिव एंड ओ नेगेटिव दिस इज द प्रेफरेंस लिस्ट प्रेफरेंस लिस्ट है बेटा ये ठीक है ओ पॉजिटिव ओ नेगेटिव को इतना हम नहीं सोचते बट ए पॉजिटिव वी थिंक राइट सो द पॉजिटिव पीपल इफ यू सी दे कैन गेट ब्लड फ्रॉम द नेगेटिव वन right so note this at least just go over have a click a photo of this particular chart and do not rectify it just apply logic in it fine okay rh blood group again it was by the landsteiner same as abo and it is d antibody fine now <clears throat> this is a worm type igg type it can cross placenta fine here majorly all the people are positive you me are positive very few people are ab negative and if suppose there is a female which is rh negative and she carries a fetus which is rh positive then beta first pregnancy is fine nothing happens second pregnancy may the child dies 
this is known as erythroblastosis vitalis and how we can prevent it hemolytic jaundice occurs to the baby uh, connectoris occurs right bilirubin goes to the brain why because hemolysis is occurring right unconjugated bilirubin goes so if you want to prevent it you have to give rh immunoglobulin to the rh negative mother it has to be given at 28 weeks of pregnancy or within 72 hours of delivery of rh positive infant these are the two important questions otherwise agar unko ectopic pregnancy hai abortion hua hai um, or there is some sampling done then also you can give but these two are the question 28 weeks of pregnancy 72 some will write even 28 to 30 that's okay 28 to 30 is also good time fine what will happen to the baby the baby if, if at all the second baby is born if at all uh, otherwise what happens in fetal mother kids like uh, the baby dies in the fetus right in the fetal stage itself now if at all baby is born so we have to give him hydration phototherapy for the jaundice which is there and we have to remove bilirubin remove everything right sensitized cells we have to remove and we have to treat the baby fine the second baby problem hota is mein. first nahi hota hai. ye aap yaad rakhoge major rh positive 85 percent hote hai. right next this erythroblastosis fetalis is a disease of uh, rh negative mother see in any case the mother is always the female has always been negatively you know uh, put, put forth in the society since time immemorial not now not now so just remember it like this if you ever get confused who is rh negative who is rh positive just think ki kaun hai negative throughout the history female so mother and baby is always a positive news fine so baby is positive fine so this was about blood grouping and surgery may bete please do the blood transfusion i think in pathology also it's there right just do it uh, what happens after this many hours what is the most common blood transfusion reaction right these small easy questions can come especially question come on the cpd the time what is added to the bag right so please go over those questions once uh, once i am done with the medicine thing if we have time i will revise blood transfusion with you otherwise see it from the short short video better Ek bar dekh lo se, because I have included it in the short short video and that is very important. Either topic say two question will come. One question. Fine. Not both. From either of the two topics one question can come. Okay. Chalo finish karte hai. Okay. One more joke. Let's end with a one more joke for blood grouping. You know, there was a medical miracle and it truly happened. It truly happened. You know, this is a true story. Fine. There, uh, it's a miracle that happened, you know, and it was in news for quite a lot of time. And I think you must have heard about it. Okay, so once, you know, in uh, America, there was a lady who was born B positive. And, you know, one, then, you know, the regular you know there they maintain records and when she went again her blood group was a b negative okay so throughout the 40 50 years age group she was having b positive suddenly you know her blood group changed to a b negative so all the doctors were perplexed okay, since so many years we have been doing mistake what is this mistake right and they started doing the research and everything then you know in the end they called her husband okay and they asked her why you know this is a miracle this is never happened did you undergo any kind of experiment what happened so the husband was like what happened sir Kya ho gaya aisa? he said you know her blood group was b positive for 50 years and we did a test and it is a b negative so the husband said, sir, 
She has been sucking my blood since so many years. What else do you expect? I am maybe negative. Right? So let's end on this um, thought. Right? Ladies are vampires. We are not. Right? So let's end with a smile. Karo, and I think you all can clear. Just don't become a rabbit. Don't become one. Okay? Not right now. This month you all have to be turtle. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Study, study, study. Bye, bitte. Bye. Go. Any doubt, ask and then we'll just call it off in five minutes. I'm just waiting for the next four, five minutes and then not tomorrow, Dr. Nidhi. Give me a day to plan. Uh, maybe day after. Day after. Uh, Dr. Daily Life Inspiration. Please give me some inspiration. <laughs> okay. Yes, Dr. Abida, I will. I will, bete. Since two days I did not give because uh, your class was there, no? So I thought that the Pharmac was TND. So I thought that give them time to learn the Pharmac and the Perio. Good night. <clears throat> Very good. Bye. Good night. Any problem? Bye, bitte. Have faith. Okay? Have faith. Everything in life, you know, turns out to be good. Eventually, you know, it does turn out to be good. Keep on studying. Do not, you know, just waste your time crying. Please.